What's up everyone, Levrak here of Defensor Arts TV and we are doing an art tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this art tutorial. So leave a like, subscribe to Defensor Arts TV and let's get this thing started. So let me think. Today's uh, tutorial will be... I'm gonna show you the process of what you need to do when you set up your digital painting. So if you guys are starting off with digital painting, this is a good video for you. And basically, the things that we have to focus on is the value structure when it comes to digital paintings. So, let me say that um, we already know the idea of having a foreground, a midground, and a background when it comes to a digital painting. Say this is the background, everything's like all this. And that's your background, something like that. And then you get your midground, which is like in the middle area. It's like a city or something. That's your midground. There we go. That's your midground, guys. So say that's your midground. That's like a grayish tone. And then you get your foreground. And that's your foreground. We'll just say a stick person is your foreground or something like that. Let me just uh, fix this a little bit here. So you don't get any mistakes with the backgrounds and everything. There we go. That's your, um, that is your painting or something like that. You get them foreground mid-ground, and background. But every time when you do a painting, you need to distinguish which one's lighter, which one's the gray tones, and which one are the dark tones. If you have like a painting that is focusing on the person in front, which is the foreground, where the person is, let me just label this so you can see the difference. And basically, the background is the black, the mid-ground is the city-like thing, and the uh, foreground is the person. You have to distinguish the difference between them, like having the foreground either the lightest area, or the gray area, or the dark tone area. And then you have the midground. You have to distinguish either the gray and so on, and same thing with the background. Once you distinguish which one's the lightest area, which is what I chose is the foreground, then you need to distinguish which one will be the gray tone, which one will be darker, which one will be the grays, or something like that. So I chose the mid-ground. Mid-ground will be the grays. Or it could be vice versa. Mid-ground could be the dark areas here too. Or it could be, yeah, the background like what I've shown right here. It is your choice. It's a little confusing at first, but basically, let me just show you more examples of what you can do with this stuff. The most important thing I could say is that is the understanding of the value structure. So understand the value structure and you will get the idea. Say that we're doing the foreground again, but we're gonna make that the dark or something. So we chose a dark stick-like area. So that is your foreground, which is that stick person. Then you have mid-ground, and say the mid-ground is like the light areas. And then you get the background, which will be the grays. There's many ways you can combine this in a way when you're setting up your painting structure. There we go. So you get this uh, setup also. You get the darker tones in the foreground, and then you get the lighter tones in the midground, and the gray tones in the background. Or you could do that vice versa, which I did before. Having the stick person, the lighter tone, foreground, gray tone will be the midground, or the background will be dark tones. There's many ways you can set this up actually. It's like having the foreground, the gray tone instead. So yeah, the most important is understanding your value structures when you set up your paintings and all that. We're gonna try doing the mid-grounds, the black tones now, darker tones. doop -a doop -a doo There we go. Then we get the light tones, which is the background now. So yeah, basically... This is another composition that you can do for your value structure. When setting it up. You get the foreground, which is the gray tone, and you get the midground, there's dark tones. You can mix and match everything. To see every every single combination. So you get that one, then you get foreground that is darker tones, midground is lighter tones, and the background is 
gray tone. So whenever you set up the paintings, make sure that your painting has a composition. I'll explain the rules of thirds and all that stuff, the golden ratio and all that later in the next video maybe. But yeah, basically in a digital painting, it's almost the same as a traditional painting. You just have to set up everything almost exactly how you would set up in an actual painting. Having different compositions and different combinations that you could do, depending on the setting of the painting and all that stuff. Understanding the whole uh, composition of value structure is, is challenging, but you can get the hang of it. So that is an understanding of some value combos that you could do on your paintings. Uh, I mean, a lot, unlike all those uh, videos that you see on YouTube or on the internet about painting, usually they get right on to how to draw something. But right here, I showed you right here of setting up a composition instead of like learning how to draw, I'm showing you ways of how to set up your stuff instead of drawing like how to draw the head, how to draw the eyes. I'm showing you a proper way how to understand your composition when you're drawing. And our next video, I plan on actually doing maybe showing you how to set up your painting beforehand. Like setting it up on thumbnail sketches because it's important to set up your painting before you actually paint it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this fun video of me explaining the fundamentals of value structure. It's a little complicated to explain, but at least I tried, guys. So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe to Defensor Arts TV if you like tutorials like this. Maybe I will show you more tutorials of value structure. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, we will catch you guys on the next video. This is Levrak signing out, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that small lesson of composition of the value structure when you are setting up your paintings. Alright, we'll see ya. So peace, everyone.